Welcome to DP Tutorials by Donny Jarwa. In this teaching module, again, we will emphasize on another uh, instrument which is known as the potentiometer. And this potentiometer is uh, an instrument which is used to determine the EMF of a given cell and also for finding the potential difference between two points in an electric circuit okay so basically this a potentiometer is nothing but a device in which we have this wooden board and on this wooden board we have 5 to 10 wires which are stretched or fixed on this wooden scale okay? which are stretched or fixed on this wooden scale so over here you will observe that there is the scale this is your scale or wooden scale so we have this scale there is the scale and this scale uh, reads from 0 up to 100 centimeters okay? from 0 up to 100 centimeters and each length there will be uh, one wire okay this will be you'll have one wire running from this end okay you'll have one wire running from this end and another wire running from this end and so on and so forth so you have many many wires which are fitted on this wooden board and you also have what this pencil jockey where you can slide along the bridge wire in order to find out the balance point in order to find out the balance point so this is the schematic diagram of a potentiometer so a potentiometer is nothing but a device consisting of these uh, wires made of an alloy of manganin or uh, constantin so basically you should know that it is made of a material which is made of an alloy which is your manganin or it might be manganin let me write it properly okay this bit of an alloy which is made of manganin or uh, constantin okay it is made of a material that wire is made of a material which is manganin or constantin these are alloys okay it has high value of resistivity okay compared to that unknown wire okay so from here uh, this is your uh, potentiometer device okay this used for measuring uh, measuring the emf of the cell and okay, not ELS and for finding the potential difference between two points in an electric circuit what is very very important in your exam is that you will be asked to uh, state the statement okay, the statement of a potentiometer wire is very very important and also with a proof Okay, and also with the three. So, what is the main idea over here? So, from here, uh, let us uh, we have this uh, bridge wire, all these bridge wire are represented by this. So, this will be the first wire, and this will be the second wire, this will be the third wire, this will be the fourth wire, and this will be the fifth wire for a potential for a potentiometer consisting of five wires. So, over here, uh, basically, there will be up to 10 wires. Yeah, or I guess I don't know about that. Then uh, from here along this meter bridge, that means from this end and across this end, you will uh, apply a potential from with the help of a battery. So, all those ends, that means this end from here will be connected across the battery, and another end from here will be connected across the terminals of the battery. Okay, positive, negative, positive, negative. So, from here, this end, okay, let this end of uh, let that terminal of the potential meter wire be the first terminal. Okay, let us initialize this point. As the point A. Okay, let us initialize this as the point A. So from here, this is the first terminal, and from here, this will be one. This will be the last terminal. This uh, point A, okay, this point A is maintained at a positive potential by connecting that first terminal. Okay, by connecting that junction A, that junction A to the positive terminal of the battery. So the negative terminal of the battery is connected across this uh, ammeter in order to find out how much is the current. Okay, for finding out the current and for adjusting the amount of current, we use this rheostat. Okay, we use this rheostat for adjusting the flow of current. And across that point, we will connect across what we can connect across this last terminal of the potentiometer wire. And uh, from this, uh, at the same terminal from 
point A, we will connect via a voltmeter to find out what is the potential drop. Okay, to find out what is the potential drop. To find out what is the potential drop. So from this uh, one terminal, since this is positive, so which means that this end of the that terminal of the voltmeter should be at a positive terminal, uh, positive potential, positive terminal, and this other terminal will be what negative terminal. So from here we will uh, apply. Uh, we will find out the junction point. So suppose that at that particular point, okay, that at this particular point, this is your jockey J, you will obtain a null point. Say the null point corresponding to this will be uh, that given by N. Okay. So what is the principle? From here, when you close the circuit, so when I insert the key on this, uh, what when I insert that key, when I insert the key on that. Uh, when I insert the plug, I mean on this one way key, then current will flow. So I have insert this key. When I insert this plug on this key, that means current will flow. So current will flow in this direction. So this is the direction of what current flow. But keep in mind that this current I, which flows along this circuit, okay, which flows along this circuit, it goes along this meter bridge. This will be direction in which the current flow. Okay, direction in which the current flow. It flows from here. Okay, it goes like that. It flows, uh, that will be the direction of your current flow. So, from here, this will be the direction of the current flow. Then the current will move along this first wire, it goes, and the current will go along the second wire. It goes from here. This will be the direction of the all those wires. Okay. And then from here, it will move on, and this will be the direction. And that will, you will have to find how much is the potential drop. Okay. So, from here, uh, you should keep in mind that. A potentiometer is that device which operates when you apply one a steady current. Sh when I say steady current, that means when we talk about a steady current, that means a type of current in which it is what it is constant throughout the entire experiment. So a constant current. Steady current means constant. When a constant current flows through the potentiometer wire of uniform area of cross section of uniform area of cross section then what will happen what is the uh, our uh, observation our observation is that the potential drop across any portion of the wire is directly proportional to the length of the wire what does that mean when i talk about potential drop that means we are finding suppose from here from the first length of the wire up to this point that means it might be 100 cm suppose you, if you count another length up to this point suppose it is uh, 100 uh, halfway of the second wire that means 50. So the total length in that case will be how much? 150 centimeters. Then at this particular point, you find out what? That there will be a null point here okay, or a balance point. Okay, a balance point. But always you will find out that the reading from the ammeter will always be constant. See, okay, see you apply uh, uh, one, a current of suppose of 250, uh, 100 milliamperes. Okay. See, you apply a current of what? 100 milliampere from the uh, ammeter okay, by adjusting the value from the rehose stand. So always this current, even if you slide the jockey, if you point, if you take that jockey J, if you take this jockey J and then if you put it over here or if you put it over here or if you put it over here or if you put it over here, that ammeter will always read how much? Will always shows constant reading of 100 milliamperes. Whatever you point this jockey, say, if you point at this particular point, okay, or if you touch the jockey at this point, if you touch the jockey at that point, if you touch the jockey at that point, always this ammeter should give you one, should give you constant reading. So that is the meaning of steady current. Yes, that is the meaning of steady current. So from here, uh, let us move on. I is the steady current flowing to the wire. R is the resistance of that portion of the wire, which means that this length corresponding to 150 meters will be the resistance will correspond to the resistance R of the wire. And E is the area of cross section, E is the area of cross section of this meter bridge wire. And from here, let rho be the resistivity of the material of the wire. So from here, when when a steady current, okay, when a steady current, the steady current passes or flows. Okay, when the steady current flows to the potential meter wire or passes through the wire, 
passes through the wire then it is it is found out that this potential okay, this potential is directly proportional to one the that v is equal to ir okay, v is equal to ir this follows from one this follows from ohm's law v equal ir this follows from one this follows from ohm's okay, this follows from ohm's law and Ohm's law is that relation which helps us to find the relationship between voltage and resistance. Also, we know, okay, also we know that this resistance R, okay, that resistance R, we also know that that resistance R, okay, that resistance R, it has a relation, okay, R equal 1, rho L divided by E. So this is nothing but one. This is nothing but the resistance. This is the resistance. The resistance of the bridge wire. Okay, the resistance of that bridge wire or potential meter wire okay, of the bridge wire corresponding to that. Okay, corresponding to that which corresponds to that. Uh, voltage okay, corresponding to that to that potential okay, corresponding to that potential and from here we will try to find out that according to this principle we find out that the potential drop is directly proportional which means but which means that we have to prove this relation this is our target okay this is our target to prove whether v is proportional to L. Then from here, if we substitute on this equation, if we substitute, if I name this as equation number one, which means that on equation one, okay, on equation one, that voltage, okay, this voltage. If I, uh, if I connect a voltmeter between point A and point N, that means I will find out how much is the voltage. That means there will be some deflection on the galvanometer. It might point suppose suppose over here it might point to point one. 0.1 volts or 0.2 volts, whatever the case may be. Okay, so from here this V and I is constant. Then over here in place of R, we'll substitute by that rho. Okay, rho L divided by E. But over here it is observed. Okay, it is observed that uh, the current I, the the current I is constant. Even the resistivity of the wire is also constant. And even the area of cross section of the meter bridge wire, all these parameters are what are constant. So if all these parameters are constant, it means that okay, it means that over here this term, okay, this term uh, i rho and a, all these will be constant. So if it is constant, that means we can replace that. Okay, we can re rewrite that expression in this form, which implies that this v is equal to 1, is equal to any constant k with your L. What is this k? This k is our constant. Okay? This is k is our constant and this k will take the value of 1. This k will take the value of i, i rho divided by 1, i rho divided by a. Yeah. So from here, this uh, k, okay, which means from here, if this k is our constant, since this k is our constant since this k is our constant so in physics we already know that if we have one quantity equal sign constant and another quantity that means this quantity is directly proportional to this quantity which means that v is proportional to l we have proved okay? this we have shown okay it is proof okay so once we have uh, once we have proved this relation that means uh, we can come to the conclusion that the voltage drop is directly is directly proportional to the length of the meter bridge wire, and more emphasis from here can be uh, observed. Okay, I can put that as uh, ob ob equation number two. From this equation number two, it is observed. Okay, it is find out that this value of k, okay, this value of k will be what v divided by l. This value of k 
is uh, what is known as the potential gradient. Okay? Voltage per length, okay? voltage per unit length is what we define as one. Is defined as our potential. This p value is what is known as your potential gradient. Okay? This is what is known as your potential gradient. And this potential gradient for a potentiometer, it the, the SI unit of this potential gradient, since for volt it is volts, so it will take the unit of what? Volt meter in volts or volt per meter. So from here, when you plot on a graph paper, okay, when you plot on a graph paper, cho choosing these uh, y axis, which is your uh, voltage axis, and your x axis which is your length it is found out that as the length increases say from when the length is zero centimeters see if this length is zero centimeters and if this volt is uh, calculated in terms of volts okay when the length is zero the voltage is also zero which means that if you point the jockey if you point the jockey at this point if you take that jockey j at point a that means voltage will be zero if you take that jockey j and put it at 100 that means there will be uh, some deflection as you increase as you increase the length of the uh, bridge wire by sliding the jockey the voltage also will increase which means that if you take that jockey and point it at this point that means there will be some deflection on the voltmeter as you keep on increasing the length of the potentiometer wire the voltage also will increase which corresponds from here okay? say like if the distance is 10 centimeters, the voltage will keep on increasing. If uh, it might be suppose uh, 1 volt, if the, the voltage is 20 centimeters, the uh, this uh, one, this voltage, uh, if the length is 20 centimeters, the length might, the voltage might be 2 volts. Or if the voltage is, uh, if the length is 20 centimeters, then the voltage might be 3 volts, and so on and so forth. Which means that over here, that means all these points. Okay, if you plot on a graph paper, you'll find out that all these points will be in a straight line. So, which means that uh, the V is directly proportional to L. V is directly proportional to L or the voltage drop is directly proportional to the length. And from here, if you take the slope of this graph, okay, if you take the slope of this graph, which means this will be changes, okay, changes in length, delta V, and this will be changes in, that will be changing in voltage. And this will be change in length delta L. So this delta V divided by delta L, that delta V divided by delta L from the graph it is nothing but one. It is nothing but this k, and that k is nothing but our potential gradient. So always remember that potential gradient graph is always a straight line graph or a linear graph. This derivation is important in your exams and will be preferably for two marks question. Just go through the analysis of how we have derived this equation for uh, clear emphasis from your end. Thank you.